What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, another objectives guide. Today we've got the FIFA World Cup Jonathan David objective. This card looks really solid to actually be an objective. I believe he is going to be five star weak. He is five star weak foot as well. I think for an objective card, this is very, very solid. If you guys are new to the objective guides on this channel, all new objectives EA do release. I go over, give you guys my tips, tricks, a squad builder if required with some in-game examples. Uh, hopefully I answer most of your questions as well. I have uploaded over 200 objective guides, so I will throughout the video answer some of the questions I do commonly get asked. But if I do leave anything out or if I do leave one of your questions unanswered, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. But without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, we've got score with a finesse shot in four separate matches in squad battles on at least semi-pro, or you can do this in division rivals. For the sake of the easier way, we are going to base this whole Whole objective guide in squad battles all right now to score a finesse goal it is simple here is an example if you need one to score a finesse shot all you have to do is press down on the right bumper plus shoot so r1 plus circle if you are on playstation rb plus b if you are on xbox very self-explanatory obviously whilst pressing this you are going to want to aim in the direction you want to shoot the ball Assist six goals using players from League One in squad battles on at least semi pro, or once again, you can do it in division rivals. You've got to score six goals using players with at least 80 pace, and you've got to win eight separate matches whilst having at least three Canadian players in your starting squad. Once again, all on semi pro, this is going to take you eight games of squad battles, and if it's roughly 15 minutes a match, then that's going to take you, what, an hour and a half maybe? If it's, I think that maths checks out. Hold on. 15 times 8 is 120, so no, it doesn't check out. Two hours on the dot will be roughly what it will take you. And I do want to say we're not going to count this as a tip, but if you are doing this in squad battles, it's going to take you a couple hours. Chuck a Netflix film on, chuck a Twitch stream on. But without further ado, boys, at least get into the squad builder, all right? So what you want to do is, honestly, all of these requirements, it's nothing like you do not need crosses, you do not need anything like that. Seems self-explanatory, but what it, what you do need is you need a league on play player to assist with and you need at least three Canadian players in your starting squad. So for the quote unquote squad builder, okay, we're not going to make a whole new squad because that is pointless. You're going to want to be using your main team. Now your main team will probably be looking completely different to my main team, okay? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to see if you've got any League One players in your squad. I've got Lionel Messi, I've got Neymar, I've got Marquinhos, but that doesn't really matter because it's not like I'll be getting assists with him. So I wouldn't have to do anything. I've already got Messi, I've already got Neymar, so I can get some assists with them absolutely easily. If you do not have any League One players in your squad, simply search for League One players in your club. If you've done a way objective, something like that. They don't have to be crazy good because semi-pro on squad battles is going to be so easy especially after i show you the squad battles life hack um so what you want to do is just make sure you can get a league one player just need at least one to get the assist with preferably an attacker Preferably, as, as I said, preferably an attacker or a midfielder because you're more likely to get an assist with someone in that position. But if you still have no League One players in your club, I recommend getting, uh, what's his name? I, I can't remember his first name, but Simon, the Nigerian left mid from Nantes, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. What you'll want to do is simply have the Simon, chuck him in your squad. Doesn't matter if he's on zero chemistry because once again, semi pro is very easily. Once again, I do not have to put Simon in my team. I've already got the League One players. In my opinion, he's a nice, pacey winger. Lee Good, you can run down the wing, get those assists with him quite easily. Now, what you do want to do, though, is get the three Canadian players in your starting squad. Um, now, what I will do for the Canadian players is choose the three least important positions in my whole entire team, which is going to be the left back, the right back, and the goalkeeper. I think they're the three most least important positions in my whole team, all right? Now, I don't have any Canadian right backs or left backs. We haven't got a great Canadian left back there. So we actually might even just have to search for them. It depends on your budget, but obviously Alfonso Davies comes to mind. He's just coming back into packs. So you could go ahead, pick up Alfonso Davies. Once again, depending on your uh, on your position, how much coins you've got. Right back, I mean, he's not much great right back. 
back. So I suppose we're just going to be using our swap token at right back who we seem to have. And do I have a Canadian goalkeeper? Remember, they don't have to be crazy good chat because uh, Odyssey semi-pro is very easy. But we'll give the Canadian players in. Once again, choosing the goalkeeper and two fullbacks because for me, that's the most least important position. Now what you're going to want to do, head on over to the squad battles, which leads me in to the squad battles tip. So with squad battles, the only requirement for this is you have to play the games on at least semi-pro difficulty. Now, as you can see, you get given three teams every single refresh. 83 rated with 21 chem is definitely beatable. 88 with 33 chem is a good team. 86 with 30 chem is also kind of easy, or also kind of easy, also kind of hard. Now, this one, as you can see, I've already played on semi-pro doing some past objectives. This was a really poor team, hence why we played it on semi-pro. Now, I will circularly opt Option, but by pressing square you have the option to update your opponents and you have this option to update your opponents roughly every 15 minutes as you can see it's not there now but in 15 minutes time you'll be able to refresh again which perfectly enough a uh, game is around 15 minutes so by the time you are out of the game you'll have the option to refresh again as you can see we've got some once again solid teams but we've gotten a 63 rated team with full chemistry so we'll simply go ahead choose the word First one in this election, go on to semi pro. This way it's stress free. Sure, you'd be able to beat these ones on semi pro if you're good enough. Um, and that just depends if you want the squad battle points or not. But I know lots of people don't really care about that, myself included. So you can just refresh it as much as you want. Keep going. If you go over your 40 match limit, it just means your squad battle points will stop counting. But as I said, it will still count towards objectives. And lots of people don't mind because no one really grinds squad battles like that anymore. Um, unless you are grinding squad battles in that case then yeah sure you'll play all your games and try to get them done on semi-pro but if you're like myself don't care about your squad battle rank i'll play this one on semi-pro and as soon as i'm out of this one i'll have the option to refresh again i refresh it choose the worst team refresh so on so forth it is a whole lot easier than playing against the 88 87 85 rated teams on semi-pro once again if you're good enough winning on semi-pro against those high rated teams are still more than doable but you'd probably only win maybe 6 or 7 nil if you're good enough. Whereas in semi-pro, if you really try hard, you could win 15, 20 nil. What I like to do in semi-pro, if you're playing a really poor team like this, it's a very low chance they will score against you. So just score 6 goals in the first half. Make sure you unpause the first half, by the way. It's not like online. So if you do go AFK, make sure you unpause it at half time, or else you'll be stuck on the half time screen until you're back. I have learned that the hard way, but I score 6, 7 goals in the first half i unpause it and just put the controller down go do whatever i want or as i said you could chuck a film on and, and just grind it in the background not paying a much much attention because you do not need to give it much attention to be semi-pro against a poor team so ladies and gentlemen, for the recap, score with a finesse shot in four separate matches can be with any player, obviously. Uh, with this one, it is R1 plus shoot, assist six goals using players from League 1. If you've got no League 1 players in your starting lineup, then you have got hopefully some in your squad that you can chuck in, or in your club, sorry, that you can chuck into your squad. And if not then, then I do recommend Moses Simon, I think his name is. He's like literally 700 coins, pacey, he'll get the job done, he'll get you those assists. But not on separate matches as well so you could definitely get this done in one game score six goals using players with at least 80 pace and i know lots of you guys will have players with at least 80 pace at this point and win eight separate matches whilst having at least three canadian players in your squad we went for a left back right back and canadian goalkeeper just because i think the other three least important players that may be different for you um, obviously, just search your club for the Canadian players and go from there. Lads, remember the tips. Remember, if you, you want to get the League on players in, the Canadian players in, sure, you can count that as tip number one. But the most important tip, play the worst team of every squad battle selection on semi-pro. Refresh it after that game and consistently like grind that cycle of playing the worst team. That way, you can score lots of goals. Chuck a film on in the background to make time go quick. Good luck, lads. Happy grinding. And I'll see you boys in the next one.